Hi, receivable recurring billing. What is recurring billing? Our objectives and agenda will be introduction as what is a recurring billing, what is a set of requirement and practice to create a recurring billing plan as an example. What is receivable recurring billing? Recurring billing functionality in receivables allow you to create invoices on a cyclical basis for a fixed period of time. The number of invoices generated as well as the time range assigned to the bill plan depends on the negotiations you have with your customer. A recurring bill plan can generate invoices based on a frequency. Examples of frequencies are quarterly, monthly, weekly, and so on. If during the life of the contract the term is changed, you can easily update the bill plan and continue to generate invoices according to the modified terms of the contract. What can you do with bill plan? It allows you to create and capture contract attributes and business units, currency, billing frequency, customer information. It allows you to process recurring transactions automatically. Recurring transactions are based on frequency. The bill plan also allows you to generate future transactions so you have the ability to make update to the bill plan if you have a requirement to, to do so. Additionally, the bill plan gives you the ability to track modifications made to it. And you can review also transactions generated by the bill plan by navigating to billing work area and check the manager carrying bill plan to check what is the invoices or transactions generated. Regarding to the setup and the practice, let's go to application. Navigate to application, go to setup panel, go to down, select my enterprise, setup and the maintenance, select financials, go to receivables. Go to Manage Receivables System Options. I will select a sample of business unit. Click Search. Click on the business unit. Go to down to the transaction sections. You have to enable this check box. So you have to enable recurring billing in order to use this feature. This is the second step and second objective in our session to have to enable the recurring billing. Regarding to make one example for recurring billing as a practical practice, click cancel, done, go to home, select receivables, go to billing, go to tasks, manage recurring bill plans. Here you can search for any existing recurring bill plan. At the same time, you can create a new one. I will create a new one. Here you can find the three sections. In the top of sections, general information, business units, bill plan name, transaction source and type, currency, variable rate, billing frequency, 
contract starts a date and end date, first transaction date, second transaction date. Second section is, or the medium, middle section showing the customer information, the name and the number, and the bottom section showing the lines, what is the service and the product the customer will billing from you. Let's go to the top of the page. Here we see the business unit. Every transaction, whether it is a standard invoice or a credit memo or a recurring invoice, needs to be associated with a business unit. We can see here also pay plan name is going to be associated with a unique name. In this case, you can see the identifier is numeric. In my case, the pay plan is in the digit of 641. We have a transaction source and type. This is going to be necessary, these two setups, to be able to create the invoice. Every invoice, every credit memo, debit memo is associated to a transaction source and type. Currency here, we, can, we are going to assign currency that is going to be used for the creation of the billing transactions. We have multi currency capabilities here also. So you can populate conversion rate, conversion rate type as well as conversion rate. Optionally, you can assign sales person if you are going to assign sales credits to these persons. Here we see the frequency, as we said before. If I click on the drop down, we have day, month, quarter, week, and year. Over to right, we have some dates of the contract. In the contract start date as well as end date field, we see default dates. Of course, you can override, but by default, what application will do is enter the system date in the start date field. And for the contract end date field, it will populate system date plus 12 months. So it will have a duration or range of one year by default. But again, you can modify these default values if you need to in terms of first transaction date. This date is used as a transaction date for the first transaction generated by the bill plan. The same date is going to be used to derive the dates for all subsequent transactions increased by the billing frequency. So it's going to take this initial date and add one more for the second transaction date and add another month to the third transaction date. And so on. So it's going to be increasing by months in this example that we will see here starting with this date. That being said, you have used a second transaction date to assign a transaction date for the second transactions and all subsequent transactions after that second transaction. So the application is going to use the second transaction date plus the billing frequency to determine the dates of future transactions. And finally, we have the second billing period start date the first billing period start date is the same as the contract start date. By default, each subsequent billing period begins according to the contract start date increased by the billing frequency. If you enter date here in the second billing period start date, it becomes the start date of the second billing period and all subsequent billing periods increased by the billing frequency that is a look at the recurring bill plan. Here you can enter the customers and what the product and service as a memo line or a description or item in the lines sections. So let me try to create a new one. 
I will select my business unit. You can change spell plan name. I will keep it as it is. I will take a copy. Source and transactions the same. What is the currency? Frequency. I will make it months. Start date today. Contract after one year. First transaction date. I will give it today. Second and second billing transaction. I will give it now. I will select my customer. I will select my customer. I will go to the bottom sections to select my memo line quantity and unit price tax there is no tax so I filled now all of the three sections as general customer and lines you can enter whatever lines here go up just save system said that the pay plan was saved i will take a copy i will create ok you can review transactions and review recurring bell plan after you will generate the recurring or recurring billing transactions now you have the ability to run the generate billing date process manually so that it's create invoices let me show you where you would go to do this the process is the same like the lines are going to be entered in the billing interface tables the import auto invoice program will run to create invoices so the way you do this is you want to navigate to tools and go to the navigator of scheduled processes schedule new process Go to tools, nine tools, skill and processes, search by skill and new process, search by generate recurring. Generate recurring billing data. Click on OK. We will see the parameter here as a business unit, bill plan, frequency, customer, customer account number. I can select my business unit. If you want to bill, to enter the bill plan name billing frequency you can else I will click submit process submitted we need to check the status generate recurring billing data status is ID import receivable transaction using auto invoice status is void have wait until the status became succeed it will take one minute import auto voice now running Generate recurring billing data succeeded. Now import auto invoices also succeeded. Port receivable transactions also succeeded. Now import auto invoice execution reward to check if there are any error or issues. Now all of them is succeeded.
So what is the uh, process is scheduled, generate recurring billing data. This is our process name. Port receivable transaction using auto invoice, port auto invoice, port auto invoice execution record. You can go to home again to receivables. Go to billing. Go to you can search as a manager transactions. You can search the transaction dates by today. You can put the customers business unit. Click search. Here you will find our or a recurring as a transaction source, the invoice class is invoice, it's completed, the source is or a recurring, our business unit today date is 13, you can click on the transaction number, you will find that the system generated the first transactions of our recurring polling same whatever I put it in the lines as a product, the customers and business units, total transactions, lines. I put the tax as a non, as a zero rate. So this is a full process of recurring billing in accounts receivables. Thank you for watching.